Today is Monday, March 25. I'm Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today is the 35th day of Lent, Monday of Holy Week. I invite you to attend to what the Spirit might be saying through the Scriptures today. Our first reading comes from Psalm 25, the first three verses. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. From Lamentations 2, verses 13 to 15. What can I say for you? With what can I compare you, daughter Jerusalem? To what can I liken you that I may comfort you, virgin daughter Zion? Your wound is as deep as the sea. Who can heal you? The visions of your prophets were false and worthless. They did not expose your sin to ward off your captivity. The prophecies they gave you were false and misleading. All who pass your way clap their hands at you. They scoff and shake their heads at daughter Jerusalem. Is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Colossians 1, verses 19 to the first part of verse 23. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, that is Christ, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation, if you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. Our Gospel reading is from Luke 22, verses 14 to 23. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who is going to betray me is with mine on the table. The Son of Man will go as it has been decreed, but woe to the man who betrays him. They began to question among themselves which of them it might be who would do this.
join me in prayer. Dear Lord, we have felt at times the alienation the scriptures speak of, the chasm that lies between our sin-broken lives and your holy perfection. We too have asked, who can heal us? Remind us again that you yourself heal us, that you have crossed the chasm to forgive and reconcile us in Christ. Grant us the gift of faith to trust in you and to receive the body and blood of Jesus as your unfailing new covenant promise of this gospel hope. In Jesus' name, amen.